Welcome back to my Disney Inktober 2019. Today is day 18, and the prompt is Misfit. The Guardians of the Galaxy in general are pretty much a band of misfits, but I thought in particular Rocket the Raccoon would be ideal. And it was at about this point that I realized that I am apparently really, really bad at drawing cartoony anthropomorphic animals. Apparently raccoon anatomy is beyond me, but I did my best and it kind of is recognizable. To make matters worse, I decided he needed to be holding some sort of a really fun, space agey sci-fi, like, wrench or tool, so I kind of made that up, and it really doesn't really make a lot of sense, but it's something, it's kind of spacey, I guess. Overall, it is far from the worst drawing I've ever done in my life, but it's definitely not the best. The prompt for day 19 is Sling, so of course I had to draw everyone's favorite web slinger. I've never drawn Spider-Man before, and the whole comic book style in general is not something that I'm really terribly familiar with. So this was a bit of a challenge to begin with, but it definitely ended up being a much, much harder drawing than I anticipated. I now have a huge, huge respect for anyone who has ever done inking on a Spider-Man comic book. All the web lines on his costume are just ridiculous. If you're not drawing him just straight on, which obviously I'm not, it's just really weird to try and make all those little lines seem like they are somewhat symmetrical and then they're folding over all the muscles and bones and bits of anatomy. I'm glad I kept the pose pretty basic because I definitely toyed with some more dynamic ones before I decided to keep with the keep it simple principle because this alone was complicated enough for my first ever Spider-Man drawing and I'm glad I kept it pretty basic. Alright, it's day 20 and today's prompt is tread, which immediately made me think tread lightly, which for some reason my mind jumped to Pocahontas. I probably should have looked up a pose reference because the anatomy in her legs gets really, really funky with the foreshortening happening and whatnot, but I did my best and I suppose it could be a lot worse.
Overall, I'm reasonably happy with this one. Nothing too crazy, fairly straightforward, other than the weird angle I for some reason decided to draw her at. But it turned out pretty decent in the end, I guess. Day 21 is treasure, and where there's treasure, there are pirates. And if you think of pirates and Disney, of course, I think of Captain Jack. In particular, I was inspired by the Captain Jack animatronic at the end of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Walt Disney World. That is a ridiculously ornate scene, so even though I had several photo references of my own from when I've ridden the ride, I decided to really, really tone it down and simplify it. Even then, it was a pretty intricate drawing, so I decided to go just a little more cartoony, not go for a complete likeness to Johnny Depp. It still ended up being fairly time consuming and intricate, but overall I think it's pretty recognizable and I kind of love it. Prompt 22 is a ghost, and of course, I'm thinking Haunted Mansion again. But this time I decided to draw myself, volunteering to be the next hitchhiking ghost because there's room for a thousand. So I drew myself in pretty much my own cliche Disney outfit. T-shirt, shorts, flip-flop, Mickey ears, and of course, a lounge fly backpack. Then to imply the ghost aspect a little more, I drew this sort of coffin shape as a background. Kinda works, but I'm not in love with it, but it's ink, what can you do? Today's prompt is ancient, and that of course made me think of Atlantis and one of Disney's most underrated heroines. I 
I kept this one fairly simple. There's no elaborate background or anything, but I did want to make sure that I included her weapon because I'm all about any Disney princess that is armed and dangerous. So again, this is just sort of a Disney character, sort of slightly modified a little more into my own personal style. It was fun to do a character that you don't see a lot of and so therefore I'm not as familiar with. Four is Dizzy and my first thought was the teacup bride. And then I decided to test myself and see how much shading and detail I could get by just using my Sharpie. Every other day I've used the Sharpie for large blocks of shadow or some heavier denser lines to imply some atmospheric perspective, but most of my detail and most of my line art in general really were done with a Sharpie pen that was much more of a fine point. So I was kind of intrigued to see how much contrast I could get in my line weight with just using straight up Sharpie. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll like down below. I post a Disney Inktober video every week of this month, and so I hope you will check those out if you've missed them, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell notification, because next Thursday I'll be uploading my final 2019 Disney Inktober video. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time.